Hey guys, Nick's here again. So, hey, kitten, leave it alone. So I just started getting my voice back a little bit. I had some tea <clears throat> with lots of honey. I don't know if I'm sounding a little better. I hope you can understand me well. So I'm going to try to keep this relatively short. This is my official shout-out video. Now, I recently passed 20 subscribers, and I must say I'm flattered and pleased that there are enough of you out there who think uh, I have to say is important enough or even entertaining enough to uh, merit a subscription, and I appreciate it, guys. Uh, you're awesome. And uh, I'm subscribed back to all of you, of course. So let's go on with the shout-outs. First, the true Puka. And let's for not forget Puka Bun. Both of you and the kittens. Not only because at least one of theirs looks just like that, but a lot bigger, but also because the true Puka was one of the first people to really start pointing me in the direction of other channels and accounts I might want to check out and therefore broaden my YouTube horizon. Puka Bun, you too. Next, Velcro Banana. Not only because his historical insight and video making skills are exemplary, because he posts videos by the headstones. What more do you really want? I love the headstones. Uh, next, Stealth Badger. L similar reasons to the True Puka. Stealth Badger, I appreciate your uh, your views, and I think everybody should be checking out your channel. You're one of the, the most well and soft-spoken guys I know. Good blasphemy joke, too, by the way. Son is the father of man for being one of the first people I contacted on YouTube and still, to this day, one of the most reasonable and open-minded theistic thinkers I've met. I think a lot of theists out there could stand to see his channel and, hell, take some notes, man. Everybody needs to be that open-minded. I think I've finally worn it out. Next, Rational Warrior. Have you guys seen his shirts? If my shirts were half as cool as that guy, I'd, I don't know what I'd be doing. I'd, I'd probably, I don't know, I'd be a Chippendale or something, man. I think that kind of style is hard to come by. Also, you lighten me up with your response video to Nick's LOL, buddy. Thanks a bunch. Uh, next, Deathmatch Fan 420. Recently touched bases with this guy. I have a great respect for people who don't pull any punches. This guy does not pull any punches. You should definitely check him out. Zoroaster starts with an X on the channel. Starts with a Z in the videos. Now pronunciation may be the same, but Zoro? Which one is it? Tell me. Now of course I'm uh, somewhat obligated to include Zoroaster in this because he uh, tagged me or you know shouted out to me too. Thanks, bud, and right back at you. Zoroaster makes good videos. Finally, my number eight, keeping it down to eight, is Tip of the Slung. For a couple reasons. One, because I appreciate his delivery. His blasphemy joke was awesome. His uh, videos are informative and to the point. And pretty. Don't get, don't miss pretty. And finally, because I'm ashamed to admit that it took me until about two days ago to understand what your name meant, bud. Guess it must have been a slip of the tongue. All right, so I'm going to conclude this here by uh, referencing, in response to my previous video, a guy named Roy Zimmerman. Now, if you guys haven't heard of Roy Zimmerman, I'm going to annotate him here, and I'm going to put him in the sidebar. Um, I'll link all these channels in the sidebar as well, but I encourage everyone to go to my page and look at my subscriptions list, subscribers list, because uh, everybody on there, man, they're people you want to look at. Well, debatably an exception or two. Roy Zimmerman does a great song called Defenders of Marriage, in which there's a line that says, are people born gay, or do they just turn gay to piss off Dick Army? Nick's out. Yeah, that's what we like to see, kitten. Flop it out. You think about the soul patch, guys. Look at that soul patch. Now, I will tell you one thing, guys. I woke up the kitten, decided to come sit on my lap, meow at me a bit. That's very good. But uh, her diet of deities, man, deities must be composed mainly of methane gas because her farts stink really bad. Oh, you hear those meows at all, guys? Let's have another one, kitten.